is here at Floria La Cre Creacion, Creacion, Spanish and French, all mixed up there, I don't know. I was showing you the plants, but my phone was full of space, so I was just talking for no reason. They have some money trees, lots of peace lily and some lucky bamboo. They have the tall ones, and then they have the little small ones in here. <laughs> They're not at work yet, they don't open till another hour, so. I get to just look around some Swiss cheese adding on side. That baby, it's like a random baby down there with my boyfriend. Here we have golden pothos. Some beautiful, ooh, $25 for this golden pothos. Already steak, so you just gotta train it. Ooh, look at the roots on that. Very mature. Singoniums. There's a Bella Palm in there too. Just gonna do an overview. This stand right here is $10 plants. So there's bird's nest ferns, golden pothos, some cacti. There's a front view of that Monstera. That's a green, green, green leaf. The plant, the piece at least $35. Here's some $8 plants, some Peleas. I think these are watermelon Peleas. I believe so cute and then there's some bonsai trees back there or elephant ears one of the two if you're offended by me by the misnomers whatever they're called I don't know what to tell you 10 inch at an on side that's staked here's the money trees wow look at that that's so much new growth that's amazing. And these are $15 plants here. So snake plants for 15, money trees for 15, and then they have smaller snake plants for $7. This looks like mint. Yep, my grandma used to grow this mint. Come on, money trees. Hopefully y'all can hear me because the um, music is playing in here. That's a very, very large flamingo. Plant flamingo tree, what is it called? <sighs> Come on, Destiny. I could sit here for like, I feel like my brain's like not functioning. Anthurium. Anthurium, very pretty. They have lots of herbs too, rosemary. This is mint. This looks like some type of, I don't know, <laughs> but they have herbs. Some aloe, larger plants, some snake plants. And the dracaena. I like this, I wonder if this is for sale. It's cute. Bites nice fine. <gasps> Look at that one. That one looks super good, let's see. Yeah, look at her. She's helping. And but they have tons of plants in here. Tons of plants. Some blooming plants over here. Some more monsteras. Just hiding out. They have lots of golden popos, so it's everywhere. They put that on everything. So then that was my morning plant tour. I'm just looking at people's stalls. What is these called? They're not a stall. I don't know where they rent to sell stuff. I'm looking at their plants. There's a flower shop over there, but I can't see behind the tarp. Pieces. Some succulents. Hello, you all. Insert location. I'm visiting this Walmart today. And we're just gonna jump right into it. Thanks for watching, subscribe, like, comment, and come back and watch another video. We have golden pothos here. These are $9, $9.96. Sago palms, one of my wish list plants for $14. Ooh, oh, that poor baby. Let's see. Marginata bicolor. Mm-hmm, that's who she is. This is like just like a big 
table full of plants so yeah they have like a big big table full of plants here so we're just gonna go through and see what we can find as always there's tons of golden pogos looks like there's something crawling on me more of the heart leaf hoyas or the heart shaped hoyas oh, that's cute that's really cute baby ficus interesting $16.97 for that not a bad price it's little I feel like that should be nine dollars though if anybody was wondering how much I think it should be priced Ooh, pretty ivy I love me some variegated ivy there's lots of succulents. I don't know if it rained or if they just watered them, but they're all swimming right now. I have some bonsai trees with succulents mixed into them right here. Those, I think they're cemented in there. Some ivy, more of the snake plants. I think they're $14. Fiddly figs, $14. My hands wet. Design Ivy, Starling Ivy. This is Starling Ivy we have here. Lots, lots and lots of it. A Green Global. Hmm. Just washed my hands so they're probably ashy. A Fern, Rabbit's Foot Fern for $15. Ooh. <laughs> big, big mosquito, big, big mosquito inside of the fern <laughs> very nice look at those roots aerial roots the snake plants look super healthy some type of bird nest some type of something <laughs> it would be nice if i could like go through the videos and I'll label each plant that i see broken planter Barks and socks. <laughs> so this is the mystery plant of the day. Who are you? Who, 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 who? Peperomia Hoya lipstick plant, wax plant. Somebody comment below. Identify this plant and I'll pin your comment. So here we have the next table. First table here. Second table here. As you can see they have lots of big blooming trees on top majesty palm and i see some kimberly and fern i believe beautiful variegated ivy seems like they're getting super direct sun right here not really shaded at all so if it's not a highlight plant it's going to turn into one Lots of new growth. The mosquitoes, the mosquitoes. <laughs> Different bacchias. Philodendron Brazil. The only one here. I think that's the Warnicky Dracaena. I have one of those at home now, one of my new babies. Some succulents. Seems like this, this area is a little neglected here. <laughs> just, just a little. No, no. Ooh. If you touch, bugs just like fly off. That's a real, oh, I didn't even know this was a Baltic blue. I'm testing this, or a, yeah, Baltic blue, right? $18. She survived, but she needs some serious help. Look how wet she is in there. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some umbrellas. 
plants or umbrella trees. Ooh. More global greens. Looking all sunburnt, sunburnt. A tea plant. I know that's love in the direct sun. Philodendron. I don't know if it's a hope. Could be <laughs> some type of philodendron. I like it because it has like the crinkly leaves. More ficus and bromeliads. Wow, look at that yucca. Almost unrecognizable. She's trying how hard you can tell by the way she's growing. She's trying really hard to get to the sun. It's so hot out here, y'all. So hot. This Mississippi heat is something different. Or Alabama, I don't know where I'm at. I'll drop the pin. There's nothing but um, golden pothos like lining up around the wooden bins. More of that umbrella plant. What do you call it? Shafiria. Call it umbrella. One of the first plants that I actually one of the first plants that actually unalived this go round in my new plant room. Beautiful monstera leaf, some palms, some more tea plants. No, who did that? They want the mosquitoes out here. didn't really want to do all of that but it happened okay okay that's a lot of water and some dirt I don't know I feel like I don't know it's probably already right in there I tried <laughs> a very large fiddle leaf fig large snake plant sago palm what is this it's cute Kalalea Lily, they have tons of those, probably left over from Mother's Day. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I definitely just went through that spider web right there. But that sago palm needs some help, but I can't help you because I don't want the spider on me. Mm. Wow, I can't believe this. Is this real life? Like, just imagine how many bugs you have if you left your plants, like, all the time. So there's lots of other, like, shrubs and perennials and outdoor plants. I'm going to go and see if I can find some clearance items. Yeah, whoever's watering these plants is so disrespectful. Like, why? They're just literally just... What? Oh no, I think it was raining, y'all. The rain. It must have watered them and it rained. Because on the way here, it was raining like crazy. On and off. You know how it is, like down here in the south. It'll just start raining at any point in time. Pretty. So we need to get out of here because I'm sure there's mosquitoes wanting to suck our bloods. Ooh, look at this. Large ferns. Beautiful Calathea. She's beautiful. You're beautiful, girl. You're beautiful. So they definitely have like plants, peace lilies, different arrangements, snake plants and flowering plants, blooming plants. They have, oh, is that, I don't know. Okay. That's somebody. <laughs> they have plants like scattered around. So many bugs, so many bugs. Oh my God, I made it and it was so worth it. <laughs> Look at the earth angel plants. Marble Queen Pothos. She's gorgeous. Some green peperomias, crotons, aurelias, fern, ivy, fern, crotons, more ivy, syngoniums. 
polka dot plant, plants, petonias, ivies, begonias. Over here we have our trending tropical. So there's tons of global greens. I don't know who that is, but he's just here. The watermelon peperomias. I'm moving fast now for real, for real because these mosquitoes. And then here is the succulent selection. These look really nice. They're getting very, very good sun. Okay, and then more majesty palms. You know, they're taking over. And then gorgeous ficus burgundies that are getting the best sun ever. You can tell because the, the leaves are dark, deep, and there's so much pigment. Do you see the bugs? They're so disrespectful out here. Okay, I gotta go, I gotta go. Yeah, this is a nice, a very, very nice garden center. Because that's mesh net up there, they definitely get rained on a lot more. So I'm not even gonna blame it on whoever watered the plants today. I'm gonna say it was definitely the rain. I'm outside and I found more of the ferns. Some alocasias. Ooh, some pretty hoyas in there. Wow, so they have plants outside. I would have never known. Neon pothos. It's dark, so I don't even know if y'all can pick up, pick it up in real, real time color. Some hoya. I think those are princess. Somebody's hoya. Alocasia. Black velvet. Look, they have more over here. Why do they have so many plants again? I fucking can't believe it. Okay. All of the little baby succulents. The little baby succulents. More neon pothos. Here's the Hoyas that were over there. Hoya variegated. But they're looking so good. So good. In the sun. Wow, look at that. They have some heart-shaped hoyas out here. I wonder if people actually think to come over here and look for indoor plants. I would only think they have their outdoor plants. The peperomias are looking good. So the full the full sun is doing them pretty nicely. They have tons of tea plants up there. More ferns over there in the far, far back. Crotons. Diffenbachias. Probably shouldn't walk right here. I bet you there's a spider web. If I was a spider, I would make my web between these plants. But yeah, they have so many plants. Even at night, you can come go plant shopping. <laughs>